And then, of course, there's Manchester City, who go to Luton last night and get themselves into the next round of the cup by winning 6-2. Five of those came from Haaland, who says, yep, I'm back. <laughs> My fitness is getting there, I'm um, getting back to my best, uh, finally, I'm uh, feeling good, uh, so uh, finally feeling good, that's uh, an amazing feeling. Yeah, it's coming, we're coming, so uh, we're exciting times ahead. Not half. Danny, what have City got in Erling Haaland? Got the best striker in the world, far on. Is there anything he can't do? Oh yeah, of course, I mean, there's, he's not particular. he's not someone who wants to come deep and link and play round corners and... It's, he's not. He's not a passer. He's not going to drop in like Kane and split the defence with a beautiful through ball. Of course, there's things he can't do, but he doesn't. The things he has to do to be the best striker in the world, he does amazingly well. He's ruthless in front of goal. He's powerful in the air. He's, he scores all types of goals. He's disciplined. He's hungry. He's he's a wonderful talent. Yeah, seventy nine goals, Simon, in eighty three games for Manchester yeah. City. <clears throat> I mean, if yeah. ever there's been a signing that can secure you long-term winning of trophies it would seem to me that it's this well, we'll guy see. he's the ultimate match winner we'll, we'll isn't see. he i mean if, if 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 liverpool win the premier league and 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 other things this season that will kind of denounce some of that argument but mm. i don't doubt it i don't think anyone i don't think anyone really sensibly a doubted he'd have an impact in the premier league and any feeble-minded person that was observing him over the weekend because he missed a few chances and suggesting there was a problem there was just bloody simple I mean, the player is an elite centre forward. There were very well, he was few out like two, him. What was he? Two and a half months or something? You know, and the answer him. to the question is by missing chances, he's going to score five in the next game. I mean, well, he missed the Chelsea game is the one where people go, "Oh, he's missed four chances." Yeah. That, but he's always in the right place. Yeah. You don't yeah. miss chances unless you're always in the right place. And if he's always in the right place with his ability and he's getting fitter and stronger, he's going to score a bagful between now and the end of the season. Yeah. So if there's highs and lows in football for City, he's the high. The low, I'm afraid, comes in the form of Jack Grealish. Agony for him. Yeah. He went off injured after 38 minutes. He, he looked at you were working at uh, Ewood Park, Danny. He looked a sorry sight on the bench with his uh, with his head um, in his track who as uh, the cameras panned on to him um, it seems that he's at another crossroads right now at Manchester City Pep spoke pre-match about uh, about the boy Grealish and where he thinks he should be depends on him I try to be fair in my decisions we mistakes but if he played a lot a lot of minutes last season and this season a little bit less in the beginning he's the same player same manager same way we want to play the same nothing changed it's just how you perform. That's the difference. And we need him. I said for the day one, we need him. Having special quality for our team. We need him. Depends on him. Hopefully, hopefully he can do a, a good thing last, last month. I cannot give three or four games in order to take the rhythm. They have to take a rhythm to play 20 minutes, 90 minutes. In the high level, the people, the team, no manager, team don't wait. It's in up and downs. Why last season was all the time up and designed up and downs? There's a reason. It's the same lovely person, in lovely guy. Same qualities, the skills. Even more years, you you improve more. What we want, what we need. They don't have to convince me. They have to convince themselves that they deserve to play. So, wh where is Grealish now? I, I mean, a, a, a totally fit Jack Grealish. I mean, what's your interpretation, Simon, of what Pep said there? Um, that he's not doing enough to display. I mean, as we said yesterday, there are changes. They've signed Doku, and he's been playing very well. So that creates a situation where Jack Grealish doesn't have quite the same opportunities as he may have had last season. Um, I think there's, I think it's undoubted that certain aspects of, as we said yesterday, Jack Grealish's game has changed um, in terms of his responsibilities, awareness, his work ethic on the pitch. I think you saw, saw more of a team player last season than he was when he was at Aston Villa because he was being asked to by Man City. He's being expected to do certain things. This season, clearly, for whatever reason, he hasn't shown for a combination of injuries and other people playing well, and perhaps when he's coming on the field himself, not being as influential as he'd like, the opportunities. And perhaps he's also not demanding it. it would, I, as, again, I say, as I said yesterday, it feels like there's a, a call to action there that Jack Grealish needs to demand and expect to be in this side and isn't exhibiting those characteristics. Because when he talks about he's got to convince himself, that to me, I, mean, I don't know what Danny thinks as a former player, that to me suggests that, that Jack Grealish isn't hammering on his door saying, why am I not playing? No, I think you probably don't think he probably is. I don't think many would. <laughs> but that's a different story. I think some players... Well, firstly, let me say, at the end of last season, last few months of last season, Jack Creelish played nearly every game and all the big ones because he was playing the best football of his, his life. 
He was great with the ball and great without it. And he played in all the big games, Munich games, the Madrid games, every big league league game towards the, the running, and he was outstanding. And the Champions League final. Yeah, and he looked physically great. Mm. And if I go back to what I was talking about Bruno earlier, I'm a big believer, and I've seen it a lot when I played. Some players physically need to be playing regularly to gain momentum and physical peak fitness and really be at their best. And some players are much better at being in and out because they're more dynamic, they're built differently, they diff could, could be mindset, but generally it's physical. Someone like Doc who can come off the bench and be impactful and look dynamic and then he can start and he goes past people and he's great on the eye and he's got that wonderful athleticism and he's toned and he's, you know, Jack's a, a big lad. You know, he plays a lot of, dri he's a dribbler and he, he, he fights people off the ball and he glides and he does all those things. But when he's not physically at it, he does look, again, a little, at times, a little bit clumsy. So I think he has suffered a little bit by being in and out and not being able to gain momentum. Not being able, and then, of course, what comes with that? Irrelevant if you're at Man City and what you've done before. If you're in and out a little bit and you're not feeling quite at your best, every time you go on the pitch, you feel like you have to be the best player and you're not, and you get dragged off or you get dropped the next game, you lose a bit of confidence. Jack Grealish is, can lose confidence, even though he's won the treble. He's a human. In himself. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. When you're playing every week, the manager's throwing you out there, and you're fit, and you're playing well, and you're beating another team, you're and you're flying. telling You just keep going. Yeah. So, a couple of things haven't gone for him. Yes, he might not quite be at it after a treble win, and all of a sudden, we've said it before, the comfort zone for some players. I've had it myself. I remember Hule kicking me up the bum going... You think you're better than you are just because you've had some keep and then all of a sudden he drops me out of the squad. Been there, done it. It can happen to any player. The best ones are the ones that don't let it happen and keep going and perform at that level. Yeah. The Rodries of this world. Never's performance just does not drop. But it's not going by the script for Jack at the moment. But he's is just it, got to show Simon? some resilience, Jim. He's got he's got to just get his head down, get himself fit. Yes, it's hard when you get an injury. You can get an injury if you're fit, if you're not fit in a good place, bad place. He's got an injury. Get yourself fully fit now and try and impact the last bit of the season because he is a super talent and he's just got to grit down and show some resilience, not feel sorry for himself and crack on. You go with that. I mean, I think that's a fair assessment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the manager uh, is a call to action there for whatever purpose it is. I make the point I was making is is that there's almost an expectation from certain players to play on the side, and that's I think the reference that Guardiola was talking about was he's got to believe himself, he's got to have the confidence in himself, um, and and I, that's my interpretation of demanding. I know literally knocking on the manager's door and demanding is maybe a different th thing in this yeah. day and age, but the point is is that he has to show some. You know, th this is not a good period for him. It's not a dreadful period, but it's not a great period for him, and, and ultimately. You've got the European Championships coming up. He's got to show some resilience. If you look at Foden now, oh. he's playing at a level that yeah. can't leave him out. Right. And and many seasons gone by, although we've eulogised about Foden many times, and rightly so, yeah. he rarely plays five, six games on the spin in previous seasons. This season, it's like the penny's dry and he's gone, I'm going to play that well. He's going to find a place for me somewhere yeah. and someone else is sitting on the No, bench. absolutely. And that's what he's talking about. Pains, pains me to say it and worries me greatly, but I can see Foden with that uh, Euros trophy in his uh, in his arms uh, in the summer. You mean Scotland aren't going to win it? <sighs> Sadly not. Uh, <laughs> and if they do, you'll never see me again. It's quarter to 11. <laughs> Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.